Hi, in this video we share with you our bimanual approach to obtain a biopsy from an optic nerve lesion with a subretinal component. The patient is a 16 year old boy who has been monitored since the age of 8 for this whitish lesion in the optic nerve that has been initially asymptomatic. Presumed diagnosis was astrocytic hamartoma. Over the past two years, the lesion grew markedly with gradual drop of vision. The lesion started as subtle whitish material on the optic disc margin. Over the years, it grew and extended beyond the margins of the optic disc. At this stage, the patient was still asymptomatic with 2030 vision. The lesion continued to grow recently with the visual acuity reduced to 20 over 100 in the left eye. On fluorescein angiography, the lesion showed fluorescein staining in the late frames. OCT through the edges of the lesion revealed a subretinal component. The lesion showed high internal reflectivity on B-scan ultrasound with a maximum height of 2 mm. On MRI, the lesion was confined to the optic disc and the anterior part of the intraconal segment of the optic nerve. We used a chandelier light to allow bimanual surgical maneuvers. We noticed that the posterior hyaloid is forming a dense plaque that is firmly adherent to the surface of the optic nerve lesion. The forceps were initially used to initiate detachment of the posterior hyaloid. The cutter was then used to complete the job and also to trim the posterior hyaloid plaque to leave a small portion that could be pulled through the valve cannula using the forceps. A small piece from the posterior hyaloid was then removed through the cannula and was placed on a wick cell and the surface that has the sample was marked with a steering marking pen. Vitrectomy was then completed in the standard way and the view was switched to the contact lens to achieve better resolution. Bimanual technique was then used using the forceps in one hand to hold and stabilize tissues and using the micro scissors in the other hand to cut a small piece from the lesion. Hands were switched to complete the maneuver. Using a handshake technique, a 23 gauge SM biopsy forceps was introduced through the cannula to receive the biopsy specimen from the tips of the scissors. The forceps and the scissors were used by manually to dissect the tissues and create a larger access to the subretinal space. The biopsy forceps was then introduced to the subretinal space and a sample from the subretinal component of the lesion was obtained. Pathological analysis showed an optic nerve sheath meningioma and the patient underwent a stereotactic radiotherapy. After radiation treatment, the lesion and visual acuity remained unchanged. Thank you so much for watching.